Good morning, my name is Charis. I'm a fifth year medical student from UPN. Today, I'll be doing a pap smear and also a speculum examination for you. It is a procedure to screen for cervical cancer. This procedure will involve me inserting a small piece of plastic device into the vagina. This plastic device is called speculum. The speculum will allow me to visualize the neck of womb. And I will also obtain a sample using a small brush from the neck of womb. Um, during the procedure, you will experience slight discomfort and there shouldn't be any pain. Should you feel very painful, please feel free to tell me. For your information, this procedure might cause minimal spotting after the procedure. So if there is any ble uh, heavy bleeding, uh, feel free to seek for medical attention. Do you have any question? Can I gain your consent for to perform this procedure? Thank you. These are the materials that I'll be preparing for pet smear. Cotton, yellow bag, cyto brush, speculum, nomesaline, lubricant, glass light or sample pot. I'll also prepare alcohol solution to fix the solution if I'm not using a liquid based method. Otherwise, prior to beginning the procedure and also touching the patient, I would like to wash my hands and also wear gloves. Madam, we will be doing the procedure now. I would like to expose the perineum. Make sure the patient is in dorsal recumbent position. Inspect the vulva region for any scars, eczema, bleeding or discharge. After that, I would like to clean the perineum with cotton soaked with normal saline. Prepare the speculum. Madam, I'll be inserting the speculum now. Within, with uh, for any, I would like to inspect the cervix for any abnormal growth, ulceration, bleeding, or discharge. After that. I'll proceed to obtain the specimen by the cyber brush, making sure that I do not touch the specimen or the vagina wall. For better illustration purposes, I'll demonstrate it on this sample here. Upon contact to the cervix, I'll turn the cyber brush 360 degrees at least three times and remove the cyber brush, making sure it does not touch the vagina wall or speculum. There are two ways to transport the specimen, either through conventional method where I'll smear the specimen on the glass slide and fix it with alcohol. The second method is liquid-based method. Open the sample pot, place the sample and close. Be sure to document the patient's details prior to sending to the lab for investigation. After that, I'll inform the patient that the procedure is complete. Now that we are done with the procedure, I'll now remove the speculum. Gently unlock. Cover the patient back. Thank you, madam. Dispose the speculum into the yellow bin. I'll arrange for a future appointment to review the results of the histopathological examination from the lab investigation. That's all from me.